Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Mommy a bitch here. So today we are making obono soup. If today is your first time of tuning into this channel, you're welcome. Sit back and enjoy. Hello, welcome back to my channel. So if today is your first time of tuning into this channel, you're welcome. So today we are making sweet obono soup. In here we have um, shaki, assorted meat. It has been washed. Okay. Here is the obono. In here I have ogliope and obono. This is how obono looks. This is obono. And this is obe. I've grinded it and mixed it all together. Okay. So here I have bomo, cow head bomo. You can see it has been washed. Crayfish, Uziza leaf, and Ogo fluted pumpkin. So, this is how Uziza leaves looks like. This is it. Uziza leaf. And here I have the Ogo. This is how it looks. Fluted pumpkin. So, here is the habanero pepper and here I have some chili pepper I'm going to dice the chili pepper I have smoked fish here and my palm oil so I'm going to start by putting the meat the washed meat in a pot I'll be adding the shaki the towel and the, the roundabout together then the cow head bomo both of them has the same cooking or end point to boil and to cook okay so I'm going to add two seasoning cubes and uh, salt I'm not adding much to this because it's obono soup the red onions is going to do justice to the taste of the meat while steaming your meat you don't need to add too much water so that the meat is going to have a lot of flavor and taste so right now it's about 15 minutes since I stepped boiling the meat the assorted meat I'm going to add more water, which we call mirio fe, that is the water you use in making your soup. So I'll add more water because now the meat has gotten the flavor of the little stuff I added to it. I'm going to add seasoning powder to the meat so that the, brutes, the meat brutes will be very tasty. I'll be adding red seed, I like making use of it. I'll be adding half of the sachet. You don't need to add everything as they go, okay? So cover it to boil. Now let's pour in some oil into the obono. This helps the obono to start dissolving. Mix everything together, then set aside. You can allow the meat to boil for about 15 more minutes depending on the type of meat you are cooking with okay because this meat is very the cow hind and the shaki is very strong so that is why I'm cooking it for another 15 minutes I'm adding the dried fish right now if you are making use of stock fish this is the time to add it as well I just added the grinded pepper, the habanero, grinded habanero pepper. I blended it with some onions to give it more flavor. So now the meat is 90% cooked. I'm going to add the obono. I'm going to stir it you see how easy it is to dissolve because of the palm oil I added directly to the grinded obono it depends on how thick you want your obono soup to be you can add more water cover the soup and allow it to simmer and boil for five more minutes So it's been five minutes this is the time to check if you still want to add more water to your bono soup i'll be adding the crayfish the pepper the diced chili pepper 
just for a pop of color and nothing else. I'm going to add more water. The consistency is very thick. I'll be adding more water to break down the viscosity. After adding the water, I'll be adding the leftover pepper that will blended. The harsh kubeb leaf and the fluted pumpkin, that is the ugu and oziza leaf. I'll be adding the rest of the risi, the one we used half of it before. This is the right time to check for salt. I'm going to allow the obono soup to boil for two more minutes and our soup is ready. It's been two more minutes. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is the end of this obono soup tutorial. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and stay blessed, okay? See you in my next video. Bye!